After Vergon buried their nukes, the leaders of the 12 colonies promised we would never see war of that scale again. Peace would reign in our lifetime, and the lifetimes of our children. They could not have predicted the Cylon Rebellion, less than 30 years later. The worst conflict in colonial history, and we are at a stalemate. No foothold gained that isn't lost again within weeks. The Jupiter Project was supposed to be our ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. First, Galactica was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Pycon's capital cities were devastated by silent assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to Operations Commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on PyCon. The War Room awaits your arrival, Commander. Icon's Battlestar is almost ready to deliver, but Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines have stabilized. Kane's orders are to jump Daedalus to Pycon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we have to clear the scouts here or risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump while you deal with the toasters. Good hunting, Commander. Hello, everyone. This is Video Gaming Over 40. And I'm going to go ahead and play Battlestar Galactica. I plan on uh, just showing you guys the cinematic battles, not so much the tactical mistakes I make during the gameplay. So um, I plan on giving you guys the full story and uh, just the battles and we'll see how many Let's Plays we can get through. All right. It's time to make our presence known in this war, Commander. I trust you won't need... All hostile contacts are down. We recorded a vid feed of the battle if the commander would like to replay the fleet's performance. Target is free. 
four by six two. Congratulations, Commander. But we still have work to do. Kane has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she'd even finished sticking the Admiral pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the top job of Colonial Fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Pycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to Pycon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Dratus contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. Pycon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. Dial contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with Pycon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. Tubes are clear. Preparing payload. Escort Priority 1, still online. Escort Clearance Zone intact. Priority 1 is in safe hands. Switching 
gun to manual. Problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're going to need more ships. Sinan's taken up Yards 1 and 2 for the Jupiter-class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having a half-built battle stars if we can't defend them. Okay, we've got the manticore hull underway. But let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. Your brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching. This is Video Gaming Over 40, and I'll see you guys again next time for another Let's Play of Battlestar Galactica. It's a lot of fun. It's really cool. It takes me a long time to edit. <laughs> All right. Bye.